Well, he's still ready to make the next step, the next decision. But first of all, he needs to go back home and just spend some time with the family. But then, you know, when you look at this player, I mean, one of Liverpool's greatest player ever. He didn't get to win the league, the league title. But somehow, when you have a player who has made more than seven, well, 700 appearances for, for a team, you know, after so many years dedicating his life more like to the team than he wasn't wanted anymore by Brendan Rodgers. So that's the reason he had to live in the first place to MLS. And right now he got there, spent about how many months? About 18 months. And he's coming back to England right now. What's going to be the next step for Steven Gerrard? He's keeping that on the wraps. But that commentary thing, that might just make sense. Or maybe joining Liverpool's coaching crew. Who knows? But maybe next year we'll get to know where Steven Gerrard will be. But then I don't think he wants to play football again. But he hasn't said he's retiring from professional football. But then he's just saying he just wants to relax, spend some time with his family and see what happens next after that. Now, we're still going to be talking about the four corner because that's the big deal for today. The game 10 a.m. a few minutes from now, about 35 minutes before the game will kick off. But then maybe we can just... Watch that game again. What really happened? Because it's a game you watch and you're kind of sad and you ask yourself, how did this happen to these girls? Old keeper was all over the place and it still might fall here for Sagita. Just didn't have room to shoot. And the follow up shot wide, just needed a touch. There's no flag there. They want a corner and they're not going to get it. Just watch the goalkeeper here, Chechi. Defender took it away from her, just wouldn't come down for Sagita. Japan dominating possession here. Nice turn by Norimatsu. Well, they're taking pot shots at will at Sandra Chechi's goal. It was Kitagawa that time. He took aim and fired. Got around the challenge of Ukuoma very easily indeed. Once again, I think Chechi had it covered. slipped as she played the pass and the deflection it might work out well here for Japan all the way across and there's the opening goal and it has been coming Yuka Mamiki all on her own at the far post and she didn't miss towards the near post and it was uh, nearly flicked on by Ichize once again the clearance didn't go very far Mamiki <laughs> oh, lovely little nutmeg. Great football from Japan. 2-0. What a wonderful team goal that was. Nigeria ripped apart again. They just cannot cope with the pace and the movement of Japan. No wonder the fans are enjoying it. It's going to be Mamiki to strike. Superb. Well, they've clearly worked on that on the training ground, and it's all paid off early in the second half. Surely the game's out of sight now. That was just too high, but it's found its way in. It was aimed for Hasegawa. I'm not sure anyone got a touch. The expression of Chechi says it all, and it's 4-0. Sagita, nicely done, and that's a lovely finish too. Five it is, and this could end up being anything. Ueno gets her second. It was a very classy finish. Great right, pass and move football again, the little nutmeg away. No. What can you say about that? What can you say about that? They tried to foul her, and she still found a way through. It's her up. Referee's had uh, one look at her watch. And two looks is all she needs. A fantastic performance from Japan, quite brilliant. A hat trick for Ueno. A couple of okay, well, you have another player there scoring a hat trick there. Well, that's how that game pans out. It was early, out of, not really too early. The game ended at about 12, yeah, on Sunday. And that was what everyone just saw. It's at about 10 and then about 12 from the morning. And it ended six goes to nothing. And against Canada, what are they going to do? The devil says, okay, they are not out they're not down and they're not out so they just want to go all out and see what they can do against 
uh, Canada. But the lady you actually need to pity is going to be Sandra Chichi. How she was able to concede six goals, and including an own goal, you know, by Mary Olobusere. So it tells you that what happened in the first game obviously isn't going to happen against Canada for obvious reasons because the coach knows what's at stake. He knows that if she, is, uh, four, four corners get to lose this game, they are obviously going to come home. They just played the last game. And that will be the end of the day. It's going to be the worst performance for the girls. Remember in 2014, Jutili got to the finals and they narrowly lost to Germany where Nigeria's song was actually, the girls were actually more like the team to watch then. But right now, it's not the same. We know it's not the same squad because it's age great tournament. But from what we've seen so far, it shows that maybe when it comes to the league, it's really not working so well because if the league is really good, I mean, they've been doing something spectacular concerning the league. It's regular. You know, the players playing in there are well paid. We're obviously going to have a better and functional league. But with the committee that have been, the committee that have been appointed, you know, by Nigerian Football Federation, independent body, a CEO. So maybe they can just bring something different into it because Nigerians can, just can't wait to see the likes of. Uh, GOB and also uh, Aisha follow them for them to see what they can actually do to kind of rescue the women's game because that's they're actually going to come on the rescue mission right now. If you take a look at the girls, their preparations wasn't top notch, and when you don't have a league whereby the girls can actually function properly, play every week. We know we had so many workovers in the league, and even some teams were even you know suspended simply because they couldn't you know get their games they couldn't play most of their games but later they were called back and when they were when they were called back uh, because somebody had to pump in about 10 million into the league, that league that actually helped them we'll go on a break now we'll come back we'll still talk more on the four connect their chances of actually beating canada